All right, we have the Week 6 Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast Show. We have the Six Shooters Returns. What's up, what's up? All right, Six Shooters. You had a nice big 76-point week. First, Whoop-Ass Inc. ending a four-game losing streak and getting revenge from last year's playoff loss. How does it feel to knock off your dad? Nothing fine if they're knocking off a uh, family member. I love them, but hey, fantasy football is fantasy football. All right, six shooters. You had a barrage of fantasy points from Ryan and Winston. It was like a pinball machine. It was like a video game on Madden 18. What was your thoughts as it was just going back and forth, back and forth? I loved it. I said, there's no way he's, uh, he's going to come back from that. Just the game was exciting. You know, I lost Ridley early, or it could have been a lot worse. He was on his way to a big day. Too bad he uh, hurt himself. Hopefully he's not out for too long. But, yeah, it was a fun game to watch and a fun game to get all the points from. All right, true or false, trash mouth fantasy football. True or false, does Whoop Ass Inc. make the playoffs? False. Does the six shooters make the playoffs? True. Of course it's true. Why would you say no? Just like the, the Saudi Arabian prince is denying that, you know, they had any involvement with the guy that disappeared. Of course he's gonna they're gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> Alright. Upcoming now, your week seven opponent is the Grim Reapers. We have six shooters on the line, four-time Trash Mouth champ. Grim Reapers, heated rivalry you have with him over the last couple of years. He's struggling a little bit, a little bit of bad luck. What do you got to do? And who has to step up for your team? Uh, what I got to do, I just got to keep putting the points up. I got some good matchups again this week. Um, he's losing, but he's, he's Showing up every week, he's just getting, you know, outscored. Uh, but he's putting the points up. Um, I need my second running back and my tight end. Tight ends need to step up this week because I'm getting a production from everywhere else. Those guys need to step up, no matter who I start. That's my weak point. Second running back and my tight ends. They show up, then it's uh, it's going to be a good day. All right, it's been well documented over the last few weeks with the Bengali Bombers going three straight weeks. What is the beverage or food of choice for Sal in the green room? This is coming from Jessica from Alabama, one of our Six Shooters longtime fans. What do you like pre-podcast? Well, I usually like a, I like a nice cold, cold beer, but uh, tonight I'm going to... Uh, spice it up a little bit and get a nice uh, apple spice mojito from the Havana Club. Okay, as long as you don't say you would like a specific, like a mead, like in Bud Light, otherwise you go into the uh, the dungeon. <laughs> dilly dilly, dilly dilly. All right, Six Shooters, this part of the, the segment of the podcast show, we call it the Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Parting Shots. And you can only have the power and the authority to comment is if you get the most points. So, Six Shooters, this is your time to lay, that, lay it down on any Pacific GM or GMs or just a parting shot for anything that crosses your mind on this podcast show this evening. Okay, well, parting shot was, would be for my uh, recent opponent, Whoop Inc., well, you had a nice run the last few years, but um, you will be home for the holidays, and uh, so don't wait to the last minute to put out your shopping list. And on a further note, just remind the old GMs, week eight, uh, I will be hosting at my place, NFL Sun uh, Red Zone Sunday at the Six Shooter Saloon. So all are welcome, families, friends, pets. Come one, come all. Let's have a good time. All right, there you go. The six shooters moves to four and two. 
moving forward in the season, getting ready for week seven against Grim Reapers. It's a Mineola, big time matchup, close friend, but this is fantasy football. You separate friendships. This is about wins and losses. about the wins and losses. No friends. Thanks for having me, guys. I hope to be back here very soon. All right. Thank you.